There are several species of caterpillars all around you. A caterpillar identification chart will help you to identify and distinguish one caterpillar from the other easily. This Buzzle article tells you more. Did you know? The word caterpillar was intended to mean hairy like a cat or having cat hair. It stems from the Latin words catus, meaning cat, and pelos, meaning hairy. Larvae of butterflies and moths are known as caterpillars. Due to the huge array of butterflies and moths, it is natural that there are several varieties of caterpillars too, making their identification difficult. Larvae of other insects such as beetles and sawflies also resemble caterpillars, but the specific term is only used to denote the larvae of butterflies and moths. Some caterpillars are covered in poisonous hair or spines. The effects of such stings are similar to those of mild bee and wasp stings, but can also cause serious complications. These caterpillars are found on garden plants, so there is a chance that you have these poisonous caterpillars in your gardens. Therefore, it is imperative that you should be able to identify them correctly. There are several types of caterpillars, due to the various types of moths and butterflies. Some are smooth while some have hair on them. Some are green, or yellow, red, or black. Some have stripes, others have spots, some have horns, and some may even have thorns. Caterpillars are vastly different from each other, there is no way to even distinguish a butterfly larva from a moth larva. Anatomically, though, they all have strong mandibles to chew leaves, up to five pairs of pro legs, and six simple eyes. The main distinguishing factor between various caterpillar species is the body color pattern, presence of tapered tips, horns, and the presence of hair. Most caterpillars are colored either in shades that make them harder to spot against their host plant, such as greens and browns, or warning shades such as red, blue, orange, and yellow, that warn potential predators that the caterpillars are poisonous and unpalatable. Caterpillars that are colored distinctively or have large amounts of hair are likely to be poisonous, and should not be handled directly. The sting from some caterpillars can cause nausea, chest ache, digestive dysfunctions, and even death in people sensitive to certain substances. However, horns, if present, are not used as stingers, like in wasps or bees, and are not dangerous to humans. They in fact mimic the actual thorns on a tree and provide camouflage to the caterpillar. Caterpillar Identification Tobacco Hornworm Manduca Sexta Description This is one of the biggest caterpillars, at almost 5 inches in length. They have 7 white stripes on each side, and possess a harmless horn at the rear end. They are found on plants in the Solanosaw family, including tobacco, tomato, peppers, and eggplant. American Dagger Moth Acronicta Americana Description, these are about 2 inches long. They have dense yellow setae that are mildly poisonous. It is found primarily on maple, birch, horse chestnut, hazel, walnut, and oak trees. Citrus Swallowtail Papaliodemodicus Description, these are about 2 inches long. The immature larvae of this species mimic bird droppings in order to escape predators and they may appear like that to humans as well. Adults have a foul-smelling but non-poisonous organ called osmeterium, which they may extend defensively. As the name suggests, these caterpillars are found on citrus trees. Common Mormon Papaleopolites Description These measure between 1 and 1.5 inches long. They are spiny and brown when immature, and populate citrus trees, curry leaves, or bale trees. Cloudless sulfur, Phoebus seni, description. Like many caterpillars on this list, larvae of the cloudless sulfur butterfly are about 2 inches long. They populate plants such as the partridge pea, clovers, and various legumes. They build a tent in the host tree as a daytime resting place. Buck moth, Emaluca maya, description. These are 2 to 2.5 inches long. Buck moth caterpillars are poisonous, their stings can cause not only rashes, but nausea. They populate oak forests, and pupate underground. 
Buff Tip Moth Phalero Bucephala Description These can measure up to 3 inches, but are usually smaller than 2.5 inches. These live in a group on trees such as oak, willows, elm, hazel, and rose plants. Chacropia Moth Hylifer Chacropia Description Chacropia moth caterpillars are quite large, measuring up to 4.5 inches. In the initial stages, they are green, but their body may appear black due to the presence of hair. They populate the maple, cherry, and birch trees. Elephant hawk moth Dilophila albaner Description Elephant hawk moths are named for the caterpillar's superficial resemblance to the shape and color of the elephant's trunk. They have a horn at the rear end and they adopt a snake-like stance when threatened. They feed on willower and bedstraw. Common Evening Brown Melanidus Leda Description Caterpillars of this butterfly are about 2 inches long. Adults and larvae of this species are considered pests, since they feed on crops such as rice and bamboo, and grasses such as cynodon. Passion Butterfly Agrolis vanillae Description these caterpillars are about 1.5 inches long mostly smaller than that. They have soft, non-poisonous spines. They are not harmful to humans, but are poisonous when eaten, and are thus protected from predators. These larvae feed exclusively on passion flowers, thus the name of the species. Funerary Dagger Moth Echonicta funeralis Description Funerary dagger moth caterpillars are born brown with white markings on the body. They are found in alder, apple, dogwood, maple, blueberry, elm, and oak trees. False unicorn caterpillar Shizura ipomoa Description These caterpillars measure around 2 inches, and can be mistaken for dried up leaves. They feed on morning glory Ipomia plants, and beech, oak, and birch trees. Geometride caterpillars Geometride family Description Geometride caterpillars are known for their typical looping gait. In fact, the name of the family is derived from the gait. Geometride caterpillars appear to measure meter the earth geo between each step, hence the name. This behavior occurs because their middle appendages are poorly developed, and they rely on legs and hind prolegs for locomotion. Giant Peacock Moth Saturnia Piri Description The giant peacock moth is the largest moth in Europe. It primarily dwells in fruit trees. Gypsy Moth Lymandria Dispar Dispar Description These caterpillars range from 2-3.5 inches, and can be fairly easily identified due to the conspicuous arrangement of colored dots on their back. Starting from the head. Gypsy moth caterpillars have five blue and six red spots along their body. They are found on oak, aspen, apple, willows, pine, and spruce trees. Light note grass moth Echonectomaniantitis Description These caterpillars are found on willow and birch trees, and heather and various berries. Hickory horned devil Citharonia regales Description These are among the largest caterpillars measuring just short of 6 inches. In the initial stage, the larvae resemble bird droppings. The seemingly aggressive horns and spines appear on the sixth instar, and are not poisonous to humans. They are found on ash trees, walnut, hazel, cotton, and honeysuckle. Morning Cloak Nymphilus odiopa Description The larvae of this ominously named butterfly are 1-2 inches long. They live in a communally spun web on willow, aspen, and birch trees. Peach Blossom Moth Thyaterabitis Description This caterpillar is easy to spot due to its bumpy yellow skin, and a characteristic resting posture of raising both its ends in the air. They feed on plants in the rose family, such as raspberries and blackberries. Peacock Butterfly in Akisayo Description these caterpillars are about 1.5 inches long, and feed on stinging and other nettles, and the common hop. Pine Processionary Thaumidropia pitiocampa Description These caterpillars are named after their marching behavior of traveling in a single file, procession. They build communal nests in their host trees. They are extremely toxic, 
and should never be handled. They are found on pine, cedar, and large trees. Pipevine swallowtail bat is filliner description. As the name suggests, these caterpillars feed almost exclusively on pipe vines. Puss caterpillar Megalopy opercularis description. These seemingly appealing moths are one of the most toxic and dangerous of all caterpillars. Their spines can't be seen at first glance due to their thick fur, making them even more dangerous. These reside in oak and elm trees, citruses, rose, and ivies. Puss moth Sorora vinula description. The puss moth is completely unrelated to the puss caterpillar, though the adults of both species are called puss or pussy moths. The caterpillars of the puss moth are more than three inches long. They are not toxic in the same way as other caterpillars, but they may squirt formic acid found in ant stings if threatened. They are found in aspen, willow, and poplar trees. Weight Admiral Laminatus Arthemis Description These caterpillars are found in birch, willow, aspen, and bitter cherry trees. Saddleback Caterpillar Sibinstamalia Description Named due to their unusual appearance, these caterpillars are a type of slugs which are actually mollusks. A sting from these caterpillars can be quite painful. Saddleback caterpillars are found on a wide variety of plants, including the Christmas palm. Six Spot Burnet Zygana Philippangeli Description these conspicuous caterpillars are found on clover and bird's foot trefoil trees. Sycamore moth Echinicta aceris Description These striking caterpillars are mildly poisonous. They don't have sharp spines and can be handled, but repeated handling increases the poison dose, and can eventually cause mildly adverse effects. Rusty tussock moth or Giantica Description These caterpillars are less than 2 inches long and are found in birch, oak, willow, and lime trees. Spurge hawk moth Hiles euphorbia description. As the name suggests, these moths feed on spurges. In fact they are often used as a natural pesticide to purge out the weed. Spisbush swallowtail Papilio troilus description. These ingenious caterpillars construct a shelter for themselves in the host plant. They join two ends of the leaves with their silk, which contracts as it dries, pulling the two ends together. They are found in spisbush, joe pie weeds, jewel weeds, honeysuckles, thistles, and mimosas. Tomato hornworm Manduca quinquimaculata Description Tomato hornworms are closely related to the tobacco hornworm Manduca sexta, and are identified by eight V-shaped markings along their bodies. Like M. sexta, tomato hornworms inhabit plants in the Solanaceae family. Eastern Tent Caterpillar Malacosoma americanum Description These caterpillars can be easily identified by their communal tent in the host plant, and their defensive behavior. They thrash their front half when agitated, and can squirt cyanide-laden fluids. They are seen especially in cherry and maple trees. Luna moth Axis luna description. These are just less than three inches long. They are found on birch, alder, persimmon, hickory, walnut, moonflower, and tomatoes. Poplar hawk moth Laotopopoli description. These caterpillars are quite stout and are about 2.5 inches long. They have a green horn at the rear end. As is obvious from the name, these are found on poplar trees. They are also found in aspens, and infrequently on willows, birches, elms, and oaks. Mealine moth, Cuculia verbosi, description. This moth is notorious as a pest. The caterpillars are about two inches long. They feed on mullines and figworts. Caterpillars are fascinating to observe, annoying when in your home, and deadly if carelessly handled. It's best to keep it at arm's length though it is certainly not necessary to kill any that you find in your home. Like any other creature, it is more scared of you than you are of it. Just drop it outside, and it won't bother you anymore.